Sergeant Rutledge is a progressive western from 1960 and stars Woody Strode in the title role. It's about the trial of Sergeant Rutledge, an African-American cavalryman in the late 1800s who is accused of raping and killing a white woman who he's actually very close to. Most of the movie is told in flashbacks, as witnesses tell their stories of how they witnessed certain events. Woody Strode is no stranger to westerns. In fact, most of you might recognize him from The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance and Once Upon a Time in the West. But this film actually came out before those movies. This is actually the film that introduced me to Woody Strode and I was blown away by his performance. Even rewatching it years later after I first saw it, his performance still resonates with me. Strode had such an enigmatic presence that it's impossible not to look at him when he's on screen. His booming voice in his courtroom monologue is enough to send chills down anyone's back. You really sense the pain that he's going through in this situation. And I just want to clarify that Strode's character is suffering from racial injustice in this film, but when I mean you can sense his pain, I'm not just talking about the pain he feels in this situation. I mean that you can sense all the pain he suffered through all his life. This is more than just a man pleading for his life. It's a man pleading to be treated like a human being. And yet, there's so much more to Strode's character. Sergeant Rutledge is a three-dimensional character. He doesn't always play by the rules. We understand his motivations for this given the circumstances, but still, he doesn't sit there and just take everything that's thrown at him. He fights back. Even though he claims he's innocent, he knows that the people who will run his trial will be against him in more than one way. He means business and he's hell-bent on not being taken in. I also have to highlight Jeffrey Hunter and Constant Towers. Both give very good performances. They have wonderful character arcs that examine different types of prejudice people can have. Their characters are friendly reminders that anyone can change if you just listen to all the points in a conflict. Oh, and Juan Hernandez is in here. Yeah, he's shown up three times during this. I didn't even plan on it. I didn't even realize he was in this. And I've seen this film many times. His thick beard makes him look different than usual, so that doesn't help either. I love the color cinematography in this. It looks so crisp and pristine. I also love the night scenes. They're so beautifully unsettling to stare at. The atmosphere these scenes generate is so great. Makes me wish that there were more scenes like this in the movie. Oh, and did I forget to mention that this was a John Ford film? Yes, the king of Hollywood westerns directed this film. Given that Ford is responsible for making some of the greatest westerns ever made, it's easy to see how this one got lost in his filmography. I mean, come on, Ford's made Stagecoach, Ford Apache, She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, My Darling Clementine, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and The Searchers. And there are still a ton of other westerns that I haven't mentioned that his name's attached to. So if you're a John Ford fan, this is mandatory viewing. If you want to see a powerful western that delves into the injustices of racial inequality, or you want to see a masterful performance by an African-American actor from the golden age of Hollywood, I highly recommend this film. This is easily Woody Strode's best performance, and it's sad to me that he was never given the opportunity to flourish as an actor. This film is a time capsule of what could have been, but as I say, one is better than none.